Hey everybody, we're back again with another one. What we have on the go tonight is lean conditions in the Cadillac because I am fresh out of injector. When I get into boost, everything goes like 40% uh, lean on the histogram and that's not fun. That's no good. So we need injectors. And if you're anything like me and have no money but want to go fast, let's do it cheap. So these are ones that I already have done. Here we are. These are decaps. And I wrote on each bag because, of course, when you decap injectors, you're going to get different readings or um, different flow rates, sorry. And according to what I have written here, these are 130 pounds per hour, which is ridiculous. So I'm going to test these again. But I wrote it there, so, you know, check it out. But I figured I'd make a video because I'm going to decap some more anyway. These are stock truck injectors, uh, 9906. The regular, I think it's like Delphi connector it's called. I might be wrong on that. Correct me if I am. So I'm going to haul these out of the intake and decap them. And then later on down the road, I will flow test them. And I also make a completely free and sort of dumb flow test bench. So that'll be a future video. We've got the fuel rail off, and what we have to do now is take off each injector. And these injectors have these little locks, these little gray tabs right here. So in order to take this off, we have to pull up on the lock. That comes off, throw that over here. And there's a little pinch tab right here that you just hook your thumb on it and then pull and unplug. You can see the tab right here. When you push, it opens up comes off that little lock that's right there. Next step is to remove the locking tab here that holds the injector to the rail. So just kind of hook your finger in behind this and pull it open. It's gonna get kind of hard to see, but, and then the other side, you pull that side open. Let's see if I can turn it, here we go. And then pull the clip off. And this is what it looks like here. And then you should be able to, with a little bit of work, here we go, pull the injector out and watch it flow gas all over the bench that you just cleaned up. And here's our injector. It's dirty and gross. Lots of dirt down in there. And here we can see our cap. This is the part that we're going to remove. If I can get it to stand up straight. See this part here with the four little tiny holes in it? Notice how that's not on this one. And you can see some pretty healthy grinder marks on it. All right, we're zooming along here pretty good. So what we have to do now is remove this plastic cap and the rubber o-ring from the injector that'll allow us to get at the cap in here that we need to remove so first we'll hook this injector o-ring seal off uh, if i can get out of any sense okay that's off now we got room to get at the back of the cap and this can be a bit funny, but I just like to hook my finger under here and then pry up on it. Let's see if I can do this any sense. These can be tough and you might have tried them a couple times. There we go. So here we have our injector with the o-ring and this alignment cone thing or whatever it is out of the way now we can see what we got to do so we can see that this cap here is fusion welded on you can see where the ridge is around like right there so what we're going to have to do is put the injector 
up against the grinder wheel on like I say a 45 degree angle and move the injector around in a circle until we have it grinded away enough that the, this uh, cap will actually fly off. So here we can see the pattern that we're going to need. We're starting to get a good idea now of what we need to do. Okay, I don't know if we're going to catch it in the video, but here, if I can get it to focus, here is our injector with the cap off. You can see that we didn't touch the pintle, which is the little pin in here. We didn't touch that at all. If you scar that up, you're going to have to throw the injector away because it's damaged. And didn't touch any other part of the injector that the cap or seal touches on. So that's one. Only seven more to go. And here we have our new decapped injectors. All were successful. No damage to the pintles or the seating surfaces. When I did the rat rod, I ended up with eight 80 pound injectors out of a full box that I had. I had something like 30 injectors and they range from like 50 to, uh, like I said, apparently that bag is 130 pounds per hour, which I'm not quite sure of yet. I'm gonna retest them. In the next video, I'll be making a test bench out of one side of these rails, four measuring cups, and a timer, and a fuel pump with a, a fuel pressure regulator on it. And it's gonna look just as ridiculous as pretty much everything else I do. So it's gonna be kind of cool. So that's gonna be it for another video. Hope you enjoyed it. This is one of my shorter videos, and there's gonna be lots more to come in the future. Every time I touch the Cadillac, I end up having to do more work on it. And it means more videos. So if you liked it, consider hanging around. Thanks, have a great day.